Some breaking news today in the world of AI is OpenAI just announced a brand new language model today called OpenAI 01. And guys, in this video, I'm going to be going over some important takeaways, my first reaction, some examples from OpenAI, how much it costs, who all has access to it. There's so many questions that surround these new models when OpenAI releases them. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate you being here. My name is Ryan, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So I apologize for a quick delay in videos. I recently got married, so you guys can expect more videos from me in the near future on AI news, tutorials, and updates just like this one. So now let's dive back into OpenAI's brand new language model. So I'm on OpenAI's official website, and I'll be sure to leave a link to this and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below. Now, I read through this a few times before filming this video, so I'm just going to go through the more important points as I see fit. So it says here, introducing OpenAI 01 Preview, a new series of reasoning models for solving hard problems, available starting September 12th, which is today. Now, the very first thing that I asked is, well, do I get access to this? I'm a ChatGPT Plus user. Usually the Plus users get priority access to these new updates. So if you scroll down under how to use OpenAI 01, it says right here, ChatGPT Plus and team users will be able to access 01 models in ChatGPT starting today. So if I head over to my ChatGPT Plus account, I'm going to refresh. I still do not have access to this brand new model. I only have access to GPT-40, Mini, and then the legacy GPT-4 model. So I would assume I'd have access to this by the end of the day, but who knows? And so if I come back here, it says ChatGPT Enterprise and Education users will get access to both models beginning next week. So a little delay there uh, looks like for Enterprise and EDU, EDU users, excuse me. Uh, and then it talks about developers. And then it says right here, we are also planning to bring O1 Mini access to all ChatGPT free users. So that dives into the next segment of this is that there is an OpenAI O1 Mini model. So there's an original model to solve more complex tasks. It's more expensive to use. And then there's a mini model. We just saw this with GPT-40. They had a main GPT-40 model. And then they also added a GPT-40 mini model, for which is faster for more everyday tasks, as they say right here. It says the O1 series excels at accurately generating and debugging complex code. To offer a more efficient solution for developers, releasing an OpenAI O1 Mini, a faster, cheaper reasoning model that is particularly effective at coding, 80% cheaper than O1 Preview, making it a powerful, cost-effective model for applications that require reasoning but not broad world knowledge. So again, this mini model of OpenAI O1, it looks like it's appealing to more of those developers when they're building things off of OpenAI's language models at scale. And speaking of the pricing, if you head over to OpenAI under, uh, looks like under products, and then under API, click pricing, you can see the pricing, the API pricing of all their different models. So GPT-40 currently sits at $5 for every million input tokens, $15 for every million output tokens, and then GPT-40 Mini is very, very inexpensive. It's probably the most inexpensive model, one of the most inexpensive models in AI right now. And here is the brand new model. Now look at this, $15 for a million input tokens and $60 for a million output tokens. That is what, two or three times what we see from GPT-40, four times what we see from GPT-40. Um, so that's pretty crazy. But here is the mini model, $3 per million input tokens, $12 per million output tokens. So as you can see, a 5x difference from the mini model from the regular model in terms of API pricing. So I think it's very important that I call that out. Now, there's more information you can find on this page dedicated for their new Open OpenAI 01 model, like how it works, some of the safety aspects. There's some videos here on some real-world applications with genetics, physics, looks like economics too. Um, and then it says, what's next? So it says, this is an early preview of these reasoning models and ChatGPT in the API. We expect to add browsing file and image uploading and other features to make them more useful to everyone. We also plan to continue developing and releasing models in our GPT series in addition to the new OpenAI 01 series. So I'm glad I read that as that's a very important point here to bring up is that this is not part of the GPT series. All that we have seen so far as users of ChatGPT are models from the GPT series. 
GPT-3, GPT-3.5, GPT-4, GPT-4.0, GPT-4.0 Mini, right? It's all been this GPT series. So this OpenAI 01 series is a completely brand new series from GPT. So what that's going to mean, I'm not sure yet. Again, if I pull up Chat GPT, I don't even have access to this yet. Uh, so I can't test it here. Um, but I will be end up making videos on this in the near future, hopefully. So if you hop over to X or Twitter and look at OpenAI's X account here, they have a post here about the release of the new model, but then in this same thread, they include a lot of videos. And I would suggest watching some of these videos, a logic puzzle. Uh, they have one about coding, right? Coding a video game from a single prompt. That's pretty crazy. Uh, and then there's other ones here if you keep scrolling down. But actually, you can find these videos on this page as well. If you go to this page that I've been mentioning in this video and scroll down, I believe these are all the exact same videos right here. So again, whatever uh, subject that you're interested in, if you're interested in like some of the puzzles, genetics, economics, uh, the coding one as well, I would suggest watching a few of those videos just to see what this looks like in real time. Now, if I head over to an account from Noam Brown, he actually works at OpenAI. It says researching, researching reasoning OpenAI. Uh, so he does work there. And then he had a tweet talking about how today we're excited to share the fruit of our effort at OpenAI. OpenAI's new O1 model series, AKA Strawberry. So if you've been following this news for a while or following updates from OpenAI, they've been hinting at this strawberry model. Sam Altman posted a picture of him in a strawberry field, hinting at strawberry. Uh, the Verge created an article here talking about this rumored strawberry model. Well, it appears that that's what this is. This O1 is the rumored strawberry model. So it's not actually called strawberry. That was just like a code word or whatever. Uh, but Noam Brown here has some benchmarks. Um, so it talks about competition math, code, PhD level science questions, where it's comparing it to GPT-40, an expert human, whatever that means. Um, and here's 01, 01 preview. So 01 preview, I believe is kind of that beta version. Um, but you'll see it's scoring high on all three categories, math, competition code, and PhD level science questions. Now, this is really interesting here. According to this, the O1 model and both the preview model are scoring higher than an expert human when it comes to PhD level science questions. Now, again, I don't know the validity of this. Always take these benchmarks and charts and graphs uh, with a grain of salt when they are coming from OpenAI themselves. Sam Altman tweeted, no more patience, Jimmy. Uh, I don't understand the reference on that, but it's 49 minutes ago, so it has to do something with this new model. If you guys understand that, leave me a comment below. Uh, there's an article here on The Verge that explains this very well. Uh, but long story short, guys, I would suggest starting here on this page on OpenAI's website, reading through this, maybe asking ChatGPT to summarize this article and give you five bullet points of the most important takeaways of this brand new model. Uh, but I would start here. But again, this is really, really big news in the AI space. If I refresh this, I'm going to see if I have this model now. And I still don't have access to it, which sucks. But if you guys have access to this, if you're a Plus user or a Teams user in ChatGPT, let me know in the comments below. But that's it, guys. Just wanted to make a quick video right away as I'm seeing this for the first time about OpenAI's brand new model called OpenAI 01 Preview. This is a brand new series separate from their GPT model series. So again, this is Ryan. Appreciate you being here. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like my video if you found this valuable. But most importantly, leave me a comment below. I want to hear your thoughts and I hope you all have a great day.